Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit comes after pawn to d4, d5, where the c-pawn is pushed twice. It is only considered a pseudo gambit, however, because when accepted, the pawn can always be easily recaptured. This can also be declined in various ways, which tend to give very solid positions for both sides, but white retains a slight advantage. This is regarded as one of the best openings for beginners and top-level players alike. King's Gambit. King's Gambit comes from the King's Pawn and contains potential for aggressive play, giant attacks, and peace sacrifices. Often at lower levels, the sacrifice pawn will be recaptured, giving a superior position. However, accurate defenses will allow black to defend and gain better play. Italian Game The Italian game is highly reliable and immediately sets up white for castling. It pressures the center, moves the pieces to good locations, and guarantees an at least decent position. It also remains simple to play, so it's no wonder this quickly has become a favorite among beginners while still strong at all levels. Carol Khan The Carol Khan is a defense against King's Pawn where despite giving white both central space and faster piece development, a solid and safe position is all black wants. Black's central presence is devoted to the d-pawn, which is all needed to keep white at bay. A talented player from the white side can reap a very small advantage, but this is rarely done due to difficulty. Spanish The Spanish is the Italian game's cousin, with the only difference being the placement of the bishop. Pressure is now put on the c6 knight and in turn the e5 pawn. White is also ready to castle once again, while black has a variety of quality defenses where games tend to veer towards close positions with lots of maneuvering. Sicilian. The Sicilian fights for the important d4 square while keeping the center pawns flexible for a variety of possible defenses. This is the most exhaustively analyzed opening, so despite offering many attacking positions, they tend to be very complicated and as such not recommended for beginners. But to be fair, there are some beginner friendly options that will still give black a decent game. London. This opening quickly develops the bishop and is known for being a system opening. This means regardless of what black plays, white can always move their pieces in a similar way. London is in a weird spot because it is both extremely easy to learn and play, but also objectively good enough to be played at the top levels. And there do exist some dangerous anti-Londons, but doesn't take away from the fact that it is a quality opening. Black Mardemer. This gambit sacrifices the e-pawn early on to gain more central control and a leg up in development. This serves as a textbook gambit where although white does not have enough compensation to be played at higher levels, it still promises fun, aggressive games. Danish A favorite among beginners, the Danish Gambit consists of sacrificing the central d-pawn and optionally a second pawn too, which is essentially a more extreme gambit. More pieces out, domination of the center, but on the other hand, white is down two pawns. Beginners absolutely love this gambit because few people know the proper defenses, giving white fast checkmates and attacks. Scandinavian. This response to King's Pawn launches the D-Pawn early on and usually involves the Queen being brought out very early. This is double-sided, however, because although the Queen does add pressure, it is also a target for White to attack. As a result, this is not considered one of the best defenses against E4, but is still very common and relatively solid. Modern. This defense makes its intentions clear to develop the Bishop to G7 and capture the Long Diagonal, develop the Knight and Castle. This guarantees to be safe early on, which is a nice trade-off for letting white have more space. This one is great for people who often find themselves without a plan. Smith the Mora. The main gambit against the Sicilian follows the typical ideas of extra central space and getting pieces out quicker. Black should be able to find a decent game if they defend well, but aggressive ideas keep this gambit popular. Bononi. This defense against the Queen's Pawn is, like the Queen's Gambit, a pseudo gambit since capturing will just give a straight up better position. Otherwise, a unique position will be reached, which objectively is not great, but practically is very easy and natural for black to play. Garab. This opening involves moving the g-pawn on the very first move and is generally regarded as the worst starting move due to both being useless and actively harming your kingside. English. Like the Sicilian, white controls central space without committing anybody in the center, leaving a wide range of systems available. White will usually play d4 and transpose into some type of a queen's gambit, but some independent lines of g3 do exist. Banco. This this gambit is known for being objectively good but also very complicated. To sum up the ideas, we sacrifice a pawn or two on the queen side to absolutely rip it open and gain long term pressure, which white cannot match, eventually letting us break through. This becomes much more powerful at higher levels. Evans Gambit Arriving from the Italian game, this gambit serves as the most popular version of a wing gambit, which usually involves the pushing of a b pawn. The idea here is if black captures, white will certainly grab the center, giving a nice advantage 
advantage among many aggressive variations. And unlike the Banco, players of all levels enjoy this opening. Dutch. 95% of openings against d4 fall under the category of the Indian game or the double queen's pawn, but the Dutch is unique. This controls the vital e4 square at the cost of weakening the king side early. Some attacks exist, but most of the time black will be safe here, achieving a unique opening with easy piece play and center support. Birds opening. Same ideas as the Dutch, the center is controlled at the price of some king instability. Once again, aggressive lines exist, but in this case, a straight up better petition will be gained with correct play. While not objectively best, the bird remains a fun surprise weapon. England. The England, which is spelled correctly, is a weak try against Queen's Pawn. Trying to create an open game simply doesn't work here. Black can defend. There is a fun opening trap, but it cannot make up for the opening shortcomings. French. A popular defense versus King's Pawn. It builds to counterattack and center with a quick D pawn push. There is a large weakness, the nickname French Bishop, because it is always blocked in, which causes this bishop to be weak. If circumvented, however, the French is one of the best ways to fight e4. Elephant Gambit. The Elephant Gambit attempts to counter-strike white very quickly, which proves to be premature. White can capture either pawn and gain a better position with good play, but this is an oddity, because despite being objectively bad, only a very small minority actually do know the best moves. Because of this, in practice, black tends to do quite well, being a decent surprise weapon to rock white quickly. King's Indian. A fighting weapon, this opening involves a quick fianchetto of the bishop and uniquely pressuring the center. What ensues is almost certainly a tough game-long battle, where black will attack the king side and white the queen side, and whoever breaks in first will probably win the game. This is the king's Indian defense, but there's also the king's Indian attack, which is simply reversed for the white side. Ponziani. The Ponziani, one of the oldest chess openings, targets the center by building for a d4 push, supported by the c3 pawn. This tends to work out well because black has no direct way to stop the push, but some strong defenses can give white a run for their money. Alakine. The Alakine's defense remains a fully unique response to e4. The idea is black will hand over the entire center, hoping to be able to pick at it later and prove white has overextended. Despite it looking scary, it tends out to work great for black, but players must be able to play tight positions. Latvian Gambit. The Elephant Gambit's brother, I like to think of it as a more radical version. The engine hates this opening even more, and it is true if white plays well, they will receive a large advantage. However, due to tricky traps and practical play, black tends to do very well here. Philidor. A logical move, black defends the e-pawn with another pawn, and while it does retain a solid position, this move is usually looked at as inferior because of blocks in the bishop, and plus, if black wants to play a solid and tight opening, better options exist. Scotch. The Scotch challenges the center immediately, leading to the central tension often being resolved or turning into a giant fight. It is one of the most aggressive options in the king's pawn, with d4 being the main fighting grounds. Queen's Gambit to climb. The QGD is the most played opening in response to the queen's gambit, and it defends the center well, with its biggest flaw being the blocked light square bishop. Even with this small issue, it remains very strong and easy to play, with natural development and a guarantee of a decent position. Nimzo Indian. Black quickly pins White's knight and prepares the castle. Black will often strike in the center of d5 or c5, plus add more pressure to the knight. This quickly gives Black a good position and a good game ahead of them. Polish. The Polish remains odd, and although the similarities to the Garab are apparent, it is actually good. This is because the pawn can be easily defended, the bishop on b2 is actually very powerful and difficult to counter, and White keeps safe castling on the table. If you want an opening like nothing else, this may be for you. Vienna. Moving out this knight first, although doesn't make a threat, preemptively defends the e4 pawn. This allows for various f4 gambits, where many are essentially a better version of the king's gambit. And other than that, white will usually receive fine positions. Stafford. A lopsided gambit, the engine says black is completely lost already, but practically there are so many tricks and traps that black wins many more games than white. People often claim this as a terrible opening or a fantastic one, but the good thing is only advanced players will will actually know the best responses, so beginners often excel. Dragon. The dragon is one of the most popular variations of the Sicilian, with themes of moving the bishop to g7 and targeting the center from afar. It also has nice flexibility where black can achieve both compositions and all-out fights. This one in particular is good for advanced players. Barnes. An undeniably terrible opening, this is arguably white's worst starting move. It does nothing useful, prevents the knight from coming to its most natural square, and damages the 
kink side, and although it may not be an immediate loss, it is a terrible start. Pierce. Black controls the center of the d-pawn while waiting to strike the center for later. In 90% of cases, black will go g6 and it will transpose into the modern defense, and otherwise this opening is usually weak. Nimzo Larson. The Nimzo Larson aims to control the center of the dark square bishop and wastes no time doing so. Black will usually be able to capture the center, but more often than not, the bishop proves to be surprisingly useful. It can even result in some particularly brutal attacks and beautiful wins. Indian Game. A gateway into many of the d4 defenses, black aims to capture the center of the knight, and while it does develop a piece, it allows white to capture the center of pawns, which may be difficult for black to match. With this imbalance, games tend to be more skewed than ones of d5. Russian. The Russian defense mirrors white, counterattacking a pawn, and this is considered an extremely reliable opening, but has received a reputation for being very drawish. Neither side can break through the center, giving both sides a decent game. Slav. The QGD sister, this defends the center of the C pawn, and can Compared to it, this does not block the bishop, but also puts less pressure on white. As a result, black tends to be more active, but draws are more common as well. Ready. Starting the game with the knight is interesting. Many people criticize this opening for being boring, but objectively it is fine. Usually a setup with g3 is played, no transpose into a d4 opening. The main benefit of putting the knight first is to avoid some stray variations. Nidorf. This is one of the most advanced and studied openings in chess. The ideas are simply too complex to sum up quickly, but just know it will usually result in an extremely complicated position that if black knows how to navigate, will give them a fighting chance. This is known as one of, if not the best black defense in all of chess. Blackburn Shilling. A fun gambit, its main purpose is a very cool opening trap where black can achieve a smothered mate. That is awesome, but most people will not fall into the trap, giving a mediocre position to black. At beginner level, people aren't aware of the trap, however, this opening can be an absolute monster. I'll be making more videos like this, so subscribe and like for more.